Okay, now that you've created your farm on the web, you come to your mobile device, your phone or your tablet, you'll click on the Knockwise app, and you're gonna log in with the same username and password that you used for the web. On your dashboard, you've got some tabs that I want you to be familiar with. At the top, it's today, which is any task that you've got going on for today, your data, and then your tasks for the month. The data will be your analytics as what you got going on, and the tasks will be for revisits, appointments, and letters. Again, you can choose all farms or just one farm. But for right now, let's click on farms at the bottom left-hand corner, which will give you a list of all your farms. We're gonna go ahead and select demo right now, and it'll bring up a map similar to the one that was on the web that you drew for that same area with all the pins of the homes on there. From here, you'll notice that it says demo on top. That's how you know that you're in a preview mode only. You know that with the name of the farm at the top and the little information icon at the bottom that'll give you the color of the pins in case you forget what they are. When you click on that, you'll notice all the colors for the different responses once you've been door knocking. You can then click on the list and you'll notice all the houses within that farm on the different streets. To start door knocking, we're gonna hit the door in the upper right hand corner in that little button. You're gonna get a message saying it's beginning time knocking session. Your map's gonna reload. And what I suggest is that you go to the list and from there, you're gonna type a street that you're gonna start on. For in this scenario, we're gonna say Seton Road. And you're gonna notice that Seton Road comes up right away and it's in the numerical order, high to low. You can hit the address button and resort it low to high. And then when you wanna get started, you're just gonna select the first house. From here, you'll notice that the address that you're on is at the very top. And the next address on the street is on the bottom and the arrow to the right would mean the house that's next. If you click on it, the top is 59 seat and the next one is 61. You can hit the back button and it'll take you back to the previous home, back to 57 Seton. So now that you're on 57 Seton and you're ready to enter a response, all you're gonna do is click on the house in the middle and you're gonna get a drop down of all your responses. In this case, we're gonna say that this gentleman was not home. It says that your response was saved and you're ready to go to the next house. You can either swipe to the right or you can click on the arrow and go to the next house and you'll notice you're at 59 Seton. And let's just say on this one, the person's a tenant, it's a non-owner, we click on it, but we did find out that his name is Jim and he wants to buy a house in six months. We'll click on the note section, we'll tap the note box, and on your mobile device, you can either voice record your notes or you can type in, tenant is Jim, wants to buy a house in six months. And you'll notice it's time and date stamp and you'll hit the back arrow and you'll go back to that same screen and then you're gonna wanna flag that property. That's kind of like tying a string on your finger so that when you come back to this property in the future, you'll remember that there was something significant and you'll read your notes. We'll go to the next one and we're gonna create another response. And in this case, we're gonna say it's an opportunity. Someone wants to sell their house and they'd like you to come back on the 30th for an appointment to talk to them about selling their house. You'll click on the 30th. You can choose any date, scroll down and set. Now, from here, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and edit their details. That's by adding a phone number so that you can confirm the appointment. You'll click in the phone number section and you'll type in a phone number. Once you do that, you'll go back. You can also add an email address. And I like to take a picture of the property so that when I go back, I go back with a sample marketing piece with a picture of their home. So you'll focus in on your home, take the picture and save it. And you'll notice in the background now, the photo of the house will be there from here you'll just go to the next house. Now I'd like to get you familiar with a couple of things. The flag feature in the upper left hand corner, you'll be able to highlight it so that you can know exactly what was going on. And this indicator here, when it's highlighted, that would indicate that the mailing address and the site address are different, so it's a possible non-owner. And again, notes, take a picture, edit the details, and look at your history. Your MLS information of that particular property, the owner's information, swipe up, and all the property information. When you're ready to end, you'll just hit the back button. If you wanna switch streets, all you can do is delete that street, type the next street that you're on, Palmento, and only the houses on Palmento come up. When you're done, you're just gonna hit the back arrow again. It's gonna ask you if you're done with your knocking session, you'll say yes, and you'll get a summary of your report. The date, the time you started, the time you ended, how long you were out there, how many homes you went to, and all your responses. Guys, this is really important to keep track of exactly what you're doing. When you go back to your dashboard now, you'll see that you still have nothing going on today, but if you go to your data, it shows that you knocked on three doors and it was 33% of each response right there. 
And if you go to your tasks, take a look at this. You have four pieces of mail that you have to send out tomorrow. You have an appointment. And if you scroll down to the ninth, you have a person that you got to go back to. Again, all of this is to give you quick reminders to make sure that you meet everybody in those farms and you're nurturing them properly. Guys, good luck and we wish you nothing but success.